my thoughts and ideals of the new just um the new suicide squad game what uh, what i like to know is who had this idea that people wanted to play a a live um a live service type game that they should know by now nobody wants to play anymore i mean do they not realize people are tired of these type of games and there's some good ones out there? There's some good ones. In this case, this new Suicide Squad game was just the worst game they came up with. Then you trusted this company called Baby Inc. that just flat out made it so cringy because you thought let's just change the characters down to Amy and Harley Quinn. To the point she didn't even look like Harley Quinn. It was just the Baby Inks vision of Harley Quinn. That really, it was shame that they created this game. They worked for this long time to create a game where they, where they dis, where they disrespect Batman and the Flash and not the Mio characters for what reason? I mean, if you don't like Mio characters, why did you make this game? Why didn't you just work on something that really, really? really wanted people to enjoy, but no. There's a reason why people went from playing the new Suicide Squad game and went to the Arkham, the Arkham games, the good ones you guys made. Maybe that's a sign showing you, you don't listen to companies that tell you how to make something because they have their own ideals and pushes them on, on into a game. I mean, What's going on with the world these days when we can't even play games even like the remaster of Amy taking games like low the remaster three games of Lower Croft and we have to get stuff censored down cause some jacket shows a female character of being naked cause that's like evil and vile on a jacket cause you can't handle it. It's like Saying, if you can't handle something, why do you aim me touch a game or aim me look at it? I mean, this is why games that are um, live type system games, you'll be play with other people, gets boring after a while. People want games where you have, where you have single player. Or games where people don't always want to play with other people. They just want to enjoy the game and play the game by itself. Why do some of your companies think that... We want these type of games anymore. These games are games you're trying to make now that was that is like um live service stuff is getting old. It's like yesterday's news and you keep making them. People don't mind if you basically make them at times, but if you just gonna think everybody wants to play them, they don't. They prefer having an option to do more co op or something that you could play with people or add them in the game. It's like taking games like um, the ones you know, Saint Wall game series, how you could choose to fight somebody or not, and how you could still enjoy the game and not worry about somebody messing your game up, or or you just didn't feel like have nobody to play with. Um, pretty much, you didn't want somebody to do co-op with you. You didn't have to. But now it just seems like you just want to push this. You see, you seem to want to push the co-op away and just make it into this. Live surface nonsense, especially when it makes it worse when you make gameplay that's bad. You have enemies that are so boring that nobody cares about. It's like taking enemies in this new Suicide Squad with just the same enemies you fought over and over. You basically have to... You basically could go to the game like... You basically had to fight Brainiac a lot of t You had to fight him over, then in the end, if you wanted to do something else, you have to fight him again and go through the same process. Or you stick to same missions over and over that nobody wants to do anymore, because after you do them like, like three or four more times, it's boring. I mean, did you really think people wanted to play this type of game? I mean, it's time for you to... Listen to you true fans that really love your games. And if a lot of you fans are showing that basically games like um, like, Suicide Squad, like Suicide Squad, that's the so-called new one that found more or less some, some empty world with enemies that was just the same enemies you fought and you just made them boring, then you counted on 
this baby ink that seems that more more or less bad they have bad luck making a game so bad and cringe like that is not even the game you guys wanted you just made a game that's just pure woke i mean do you really care about your fans or do you just sell do you truly kill for your fans or do you just see in your head well let's just kill it to so many people not our true fans because you need to start picking sides quick or in the end your life you life's your life um so this is gonna go down fast and why games with life life um life service basically never work anymore they're old they're dying out like the, they're dying out if you can't make a core cool game something like the classic scene world games war where you could still choose to have somebody or not and still feel like you're still playing a single game then don't make them don't spend all this time to make a game that's bad plain and simple either don't make them or just accept that um just give your company to somebody that kills for the fans and not catering to these groups that want you to change ideals especially what many more worse is how you kill characters like batman and the flash and things like that in the in in the new suicide squad that was just messed up do, um, don't you have respect for these characters anymore? Or, do you, or did you just want to get rid of them for your new walk, your walk suicide squad? That's what they really are. They're not the true suicide squad. There's just the woke vision of them that replace them to these characters that don't... The true suicide squad would take them down. If you've seen the movies where they've done the suicide squad movies, they would have took the, these fake copies down... Because these, these woke ones are not worth the watch or even play, even play has. If you're going to disrespect characters people love, you mean Batman himself, you mean the person that did the voice for him, and you're going to disrespect his, um, I'm disrespecting the person that did the voice for the games for Batman in the Arkham games, then why did you even make this game? So, so you could disrespect men in the story or... Think you know what? Let, let's just treat Wonder Woman better, cause she's in a, maybe in a little bit of one scene, and all of a sudden she gets treated honorable. But the man characters get treated like they're evil and vile. What I say, if you're gonna treat man characters bad, to the point that they're gonna be treated bad, then maybe it's you that's the problem about why you want them to be bad. Every gender, no matter. In a game, video game, male or female should be treated as equal. But if you can't do that, then you shouldn't be making games all together.